and welcome back to Iceland. Yeah. Second semi finals on the way. Anton wins the, wins the ball. All Swedish affair. The other semi final between Vladimir and Didde and there's Harrison. The Dane, our only tour card holder at this tournament anyway, is uh, five two up. So it's looking like we're gonna have a Dane in the final. We're definitely gonna have a Swede. Here we are, three of the four semi finalists are from Sweden, including these two. Is this going to be one step a little too far for Anton Ersland? <clears throat> or is he going to capitalise on all the opportunities that he's previously had? Double top. Double top it is. One dart only needed. Not been so much of a first dart merchant over the course of the afternoon. But he has taken his opportunity, takes the first leg with the throw. Oh, what a cracking way to open leg number two. This man means business. This man is serious. This is great to watch, it really is. Unlucky bounce out there from Larson. We have got our first finalist, by the way. We need to switch. Yeah, needed to switch there. Do you see the amount that dart moved before it entered the 20 bed? Another 180. That's two 180s in the leg now for Anton Oslin. This is really, really good. This man means business. Not bad, from, not bad from Larson either. Well, who knows where that landed? It may have even clipped the wire of the bullseye. Two 180s and might not even get. And now it's going to ring double shots. There's been a goalkeeper on that ball today. <laughs> oh, look at that. They both have one dart for the bullseye. Anton missed, Daniel hit. Well done. A little cracker lined up for you, folks. Winner of this one takes on Vladimir Anderson. Now, I, uh, I said I fancied Jeffrey de Graaf. And if it's not going to be Jeffrey, I fancied Vladimir Anderson. It's certainly not going to be Jeffrey. It's not a man. Yeah, he's, he's done well after that big break <clears throat> in between the quarters and the semis there. Yeah, he Vlad has. Vladimir. A little bit of a, I'm not going to say lackluster quarterfinal, but a lesser standard quarterfinal. But the important thing is he won it. He found a way of winning that. He wasn't ahead. Dennis was ahead for a lot of that game. He was. So, yeah, despite his broken schedule for the day, he has done exceptionally well. Nice to see so many Swedes in the like the stages. I know the lads from Dark Pod and in Sweden will uh, appreciate plenty to talk about the next time they're on air. Absolutely, yes. The content rights itself. Yeah. We need need some Svenska där ute. Glöm inte vi har en svensk Dark Pod nu. Om ni inte vet om det redan. Sök upp den på ja, det du uh, tar emot dina poddar. Dartpodden. 
som kommer in ut direkt. Thank you word for it. <laughs> Or even if, if anyone who can uh, understand Swedish, Norwegians, Danish, even Finns. You know. This is brilliant from Daniel Larsson. 75 in two. And Oslund has really upped his game. But so has Daniel Larsson. This is good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. And that was a break of throw. And Daniel looks like he means business. Yeah, you can always see when Daniel's in the mode because he's... His chest goes out. He's he's uh, very focused. He's um, a joy to watch. Daniel won um, European, so not European Tour, Pro Tour event number four in Sweden. So this is for back-to-back -back titles, effectively. Not this game, but if he wins here and beats Vladimir, that would be back-to-back -back titles. That is true, because he, he was atrocious on the Saturday, if I remember right. You won Engström and... It played really well, and Daniel didn't yeah, play that well. On the Saturday, we had one, two, three, four, five made the quarterfinals, but the final ended up being an all Finnish affair. That's right. Only two Finns made the quarters, and both of them were in the final. Only two um, two Swedish men made the final, sorry, made the quarterfinals, should I say, for the second event of the year in Denmark. But it's pretty spread now, which is fantastic. At one stage, it was just, you know, the Finns getting to the finals. Now it's it's, so, it's, it's great. It's all spread yeah. now. Everybody, every country has their own uh, players coming through, which is the whole idea, you know? Yeah, event one, the final is made up of Finland and Sweden. Event two, Lithuania and Denmark. Yep. Finland and Finland. We had Denmark and Sweden. And here it's going to be Denmark and Sweden as well. So, yeah, a mix. And those are the Danes listening. If you're uh, needing some help with your, the way you throw, then um, you've got darkcoach.dk, and that's Daniel T. Bell that started quite recently. He'll, uh, he'll help you out with any anything you need to put right. And he's actually a really good, uh, really good journalist as well. He, he's pushing darts in Denmark. He's a very good journalist. A really nice interview he had with Matt Porter not long ago. Oh, good. I'm very much interested in the pushing of darts in all over the world. Luxembourg's one I'd be interested in tapping into. But that would be just like Iceland, the way Iceland is going you know, through the season. Yeah. I'd imagine Luxembourg would be use the same template that um, they've used in Iceland, and you'll have uh, lots of people interested. Yeah, they've got darts clubs in Luxembourg. They've got regulation players. Daniel's looking to put pay to this little upstart, I think. He's playing very well, Anton. It's his first ever semi final. It's. Uh... You wouldn't know, would you, based on no. how he's throwing? <clears throat> Unfortunate. Surely going to make it 3 2. And I'd imagine Vladimir is hoping this goes quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Either hopes it goes quite quickly so he can get on and play, or hopes they knacker each other, tire each other out, and end up throwing a load of rubbish against him. Anton has got an opportunity again. Double six Does again. Capitalise on this. Yep. The old nemesis. 
And he finally gets hold of it. Closes well the gap. <clears throat> it's quite interesting what you sent me about Rob Cross, by the way. We had some... I can neither confirm nor deny its merit. But we do know that Rob Cross was playing Mario van den Bachada and the result ended up in a walkover for Mario and a forfeit for Rob. We'll wait for confirmation as well. So we're not really utilising the live chat, are we? If there's any questions that anybody wants to ask, we've only got maybe an hour left of this tournament, but yes, please do. You can put it on whatever comments or whatever platform you're watching on, be it YouTube or Facebook, um, and we get hold of the comments. If you've got anything you want to know or you want to say, do comment. Maybe. We might even read it out. And keep it clean. <laughs> Please do. Lovely 140 there to get Anton's head back into this leg. You get a few double, you know, two, two treble visits going again. He'll be making Daniel think a little bit. This is Solar Darts in this one. Really wants to be on a hundred or less. Triple quite important here. It's a really, really good last start. That I'd much rather be on eighty-six than one two six. Absolutely. There you go. There's the first question. Corey the second. Who do you think is the best darts player in the world at the moment? For minute, he says, but. <laughs> Do you want to answer oh, wow. that? Oh, wow. Um, I mean, my answer is going to be relatively boring. You're going to say price the same as me, sure. I'm going to say probably get in price, just based yeah. on if you look at his last couple of weeks on the Euro Tour. He's getting back to how he was before COVID. It was a, he just looks at the looks at the board, looks at the target, and he, he was hitting it. Some of this tops hitting, it's just ridiculous. That's the only word I can use, ridiculous. Mm. I do see signs of good old Michael Van Gogh and getting back to his brilliant best as well. He has shown games, not solidly every single game, but has shown games where he's just not missing a thing. Talking of not missing a thing, by the way, Daniel Larson. Mm. Takes that out nicely. Double top. Yep. I think it's a bit more daylight between... Anton, who's starting to get going again. It's a nice battle, isn't it? It's, I don't actually yes. know who Anton plays for. In uh, if someone can put it in the chat, I don't know who he plays for in Sweden. I'm not. I'm sure he's not SSDC. So they're not teammates. So it won't be a. It could be some uh, fireworks if it gets a bit tight. We've had another question from SoundCloud Songs. I'm guessing that's not the name of the person. But someone's asked, when did Dmitry Zukov lose in this uh, in this tournament? The answer is in the first round proper. So he did play a preliminary round match against his fellow countryman, Yanis Mustafaevs. He beat him 6-5. And then he lost out to Andreas Harrison. That was in the last 64. So first round proper. Um, but... He actually had a superior average to Andreas. He averaged 80, nearly 83. So he's had a, a reasonable couple of games, but couldn't quite get over the line there. And of course, Dmitry Zukov yesterday in the second qualifying tournament, the European qualifier number eight, he made it all the way to the final. 
Only losing out to Yanni Lorila. A friend of mine, Dennis Leeds, um, has just written the question. Scrivere po' svenska, Dennis. Lo fatto in tavolo mio, no? Blessing for trying in English. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that. 9 for 18. Did I see a little uh, round of applause there from Anton? A little clap? It should, because it, it, that's three different areas of the board he's used there. And uh, yeah. well, it's a top half, but um, he's pretty confident. Gene 12 gaming, yes, you can, over the season, you can build up points to qualify for the World um, World Cup of Darts, which is uh, in June. Uh, you can build up points to qualify, and the top two go to the World Championships at the Ali Pali. <coughs> Plus, there's some Q school places up for grabs uh, where you get invited instead of having to, having to pay. So... Uh, it's a really good stepping stone if you want to make a living out of this sport. Or even if you don't. You just like turning up, having fun and seeing how far can I get? Or getting battered and giving it up. <laughs> Which doesn't happen a lot, by the way. It's, a, it's, it's quite good how people... They'll give it a go, obviously. Yeah. But it, they'll do their apprenticeship you know, locally and maybe with the WDF and then because it's not cheap, obviously, to travel to Iceland and pay for, you know, entry fees and stuff like that. And so you, yeah. you've got to have a, a bit about you. Wonderful one six two there, maximum on the eighteens from Anton Erslund, who is only one leg away from losing this one, but certainly not giving up. And this would be some way to reach the final, to reach your second final of the season. Oh, Daniel, maybe just checking the score. Oh, there we go. They added 40 points on. This would be some way, wouldn't it, Dean, to check out 200? If you did that, then well, just give him the tournament. Oh, he should have gone for tops there just to see if he could have done it. <laughs> Lovely 140 set up. And Tonnet, this must go. Oh, now he's wondering about the scores. I think he might have left 76, I'm not sure. But that was fair play from Daniel, because obviously Anton hadn't seen it. Yeah. Well, I think it is 66. It hasn't changed. Let's see if he goes treble 10. 61. Oh, he might stay there for the outer ball. Okay. Double 14, look at that. Oh, good lad. That was yeah, quite remarkable. Go. Absolutely, yeah. I thought maybe because he's gone for the balls I totally missed, he might stay there and hope to hit the outer. He, I think there's a bit, he looks a bit angry here. Something's happened here. Um, the pair of them look a bit... Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. But nothing towards Daniel or... or uh, something happened with the, uh, the scoring there. Never mind. He took it out anyway, so uh, just get on. Get on with it. Oh, Cloud Soul wants to know, is this the last tournament for today? The answer is no. There is a Euro Tour qualifier, which is probably going to happen pretty much straight after this. So we might stop the stream and then restart it again, but same channels. You can get us on YouTube, on Twitch, on Facebook. Again with the two treble visits. Game isn't over yet. I've still got a fancy Daniel to get over the line here.
and it's unlucky. Nice and straight, though. Absolutely. He's going to have a shot here. 14. Oh, he double 11. He wouldn't be scared. <laughs> oh, he wasn't scared. No, a beautiful dart. And anything that may have happened to concern these players has gone out the window because both are smiling. Fantastic semi-final there. Anton did up his game. Started off brilliantly. Two 180s in the same leg and still lost it. He did. Is Daniel Larson, who is our finalist today, alongside Vladimir Anderson. Vladimir Anderson is going to be Denmark versus Sweden. And that final will be happening here in just a few moments. We'll be right back. relative.